Hi everybody, Robert Jones, back out in the forest doing a little taste test for you today, you guys. Something new to try. Found these at Costco a couple months ago and I've been waiting to give them a try. Um, this is the Chili Spiced Golden Raisins. Now, it is quite a big bag, so I'm hoping they're good. Um, I am a fan of the raisin. I know some people are not big fans of raisins, but um, I enjoy them. Um, I especially like them in baked goods and things like that, but I will be known to pop a handful now and then. Um, I'm excited to try these. They're supposed to be, um, it says according to this, sweet and spicy raisins. Um, I know in the Latin community, a lot of people eat fruit with um, spices on them. So I think that's where this is aimed at. But I'm excited to try this and also uh, looking for suggestions if people have um, what to do with these um, for cooking or something like that. I'm thinking in bread pudding, they might be interesting or maybe even in a cornbread or something like that. So um, this is Sun Made brand. Um, I believe they are from California. Let's see, it is a product sold by Weight Not Volume. Uh, yes, California. And it's from Kingsburg, California, which I don't know where that is. I'm guessing it's in the Central Valley somewhere. Anyway, um, yeah, so what can I tell you about this? It says, plump, fruity, spicy, golden nuggets of goodness. Sunmade chili spiced golden raisins are a perfect way to add some sweetness and a little heat to your favorite recipe, not to mention their spicy sweetness makes a great snack right out of the bag. Chili spiced golden raisins are great by the handful in salads on your favorite tray mix mix snack. So, and it even has um, a chili lime snack mix recipe there. So that's pretty good. Um, let's see, ingredients includes golden raisins. I didn't realize that they were golden raisins. Now I look at it, I'm like, well, duh, but um, didn't even think about it. Golden raisins, less than 2% dried guajillo, chili peppers, citric acid, so they're going to be a little bit um, uh, soury, salt, uh, dried tamarind, it's really small, sunflower oil, cayenne, dehydrated lemon, paprika, extract of paprika, and sulfur dioxide. So yeah, so let's, let's pop it open, let's give it a try. Um, I have a... The bag is pointy. I've got our friend Snippy. Snippy. Now, now these do have a zip top in here, so I'm trying not to hit the zip top. Zip, zip, is zip, bay, zip. Oh, oh, that's that's pungent. Mmm. That smells really good, you guys. Let me see. Gold. Lights, lighting is not great, but um, they are golden raisins, and some are a little bit darker than others. I guess I just have different amounts of chili on them. Let's see if I can pour a couple in my hand for you to see. So maybe you can see, like, this one is really dark. These ones are not so dark. Um, I'm guessing that's just the natural, natural way. Just going for it. Mmm. Mmm, that has, that takes me back to high school. I had a friend, his name was Luis Hernandez Ontiveros. He was from Guadalajara. And um, he introduced me to a candy called Pico. And it was like a, a little sugar bag like this. And it was literally like sugars and chilies and everything else. And you would just pour a little bit in your hand. Something just fell. And you would just pop it in your mouth. And it had um, a really pleasant, sweet, sour, chili flavor. Wow. That is taking me back. All right, I'm going to try again because that was really good. So, I mean, I could eat these individually, but why? Make a noise. Mmm. Oh, these are really good, you guys. Raisins have a nice sweetness to them. And the citric acid is making my mouth water. I can feel it. And the chili, I give it like a two. I mean, it's more citric acid than it is chili. It's barely there. It's just a little... I was expecting them to be spicier for some reason. But it's not. All right, just a little bit more because I'm, I'm kind of impressed with how good these are. These are great, you guys. Even if you're not a fan of raisin, you should totally try these. Because they bring a, 
It brings a savoriness to it. Sometimes, um, I think raisins can be really cloyingly sweet if you just eat them by themselves. But these are quite delicious. I'm impressed. I will totally get these again. Mmm, it's got a, it just keeps in my mouth. It's really good. All right, you guys, I don't know what else to say about these, but um, it has a nice fruitiness. It has a nice, um, it's just a, just a background heat, just kind of like, ha, huh, I had Mexican food a while ago. Ha, huh, that kind of thing, a little bit of spiciness in the background. Not, not blow your socks off. And it's very back of the mouth. It's good. I don't know what to tell you about. All right, so chili spiced raisins. Um, have you tried these? Uh, what do you put them in? I'd love to know what you guys do with them. I totally want to put these in like bread pudding or something now. All right, you guys. That's it. I'm Richard. This is Taste Test, and I hope you guys are well and enjoying the forest with me. Take care.